Hey guys, Brian Osborne here from Answers in Genesis. And right now I'm here beside a banana tree in the Botanical Gardens of the Creation Museum. And just the other day, I saw bananas on these banana trees for the very first time, and this one in particular. So I'll try to pull it in real close so you can see them. Thought it was kind of cool. But right about here, tiny little bananas, if you can see them, right there. And they're small. And I was talking to an expert about these little bananas, and they were telling me, they're technically bananas, but they don't get too big and they don't taste that good. But yeah, they're bananas, right? And uh, it makes sense that a banana tree produces bananas because that's what banana trees do. Just makes sense, right? And that's the way God's made this world to work. So it does produce bananas because it is a banana tree. The bananas are a natural outworking of what this tree actually is. And I want to use that to kind of segue into our lesson today, talking about salvation and the fruit that comes from that. As we look at Zacchaeus and the rich young ruler, compare those and talk about what should actually be observed from someone who's really saved. So as we see with the rich young ruler, he approaches Jesus asking about how to be saved. And it seems to be a genuine request. He's trying to figure out what it is. He calls Jesus good teacher, which, by the way, when Jesus said to him, why do you call me good? He wasn't saying he wasn't God. He's was actually asking the guy if he knew what he was asking. And that is, you call me good, but only God is good. Are you saying that I am good, therefore I am God? Are you ready to submit to me? That, in essence, is what he's really kind of getting at. And, of course, long story made short, you see more details in the lesson. We realize that the rich young ruler, uh, after being really tested, was unwilling to abandon his worldly riches to follow after Christ. Compare that to Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, the tax collector, probably hated by the people that were around him where he lived. And he's a short guy and he can't see Jesus, so he climbs a tree to see Jesus, which was very undignified. He showed a strong desire to actually see Jesus. And Jesus shows compassion to him by saying, Zacchaeus, I'm eating at your house. Hospitality was a huge thing in that particular culture. And of course, many Jews grumbled that he was dining with a sinner, right? And by the way, Jesus showed compassion both to the rich young ruler and Zacchaeus. We see that he loved them both. But Zacchaeus' response is very, very different. So when Jesus comes to his house, we, know, we don't know all the details, but we know Zacchaeus got saved. At some point, he put his faith in Christ as Lord God Messiah. He proclaimed that I'm going to give half my riches to the poor. Just proclaimed it. Wasn't asked to do so. Just did it. And he said, if I've cheated anybody, I pay them back four times what I cheated. Why? Why would he do this? Because it was a natural outworking of who he now was. He had been born again. He was a new creation. And now he's bearing fruit of that new creation. That's naturally an outpouring of who he is as a new believer in Christ. As Christians, the Bible is clear, we will bear fruit. If you're saved, if you're a disciple of Christ, you will bear fruit. That's just what happens. Banana trees produce bananas. A Christian produces fruit that glorifies God. Now, we need to be very clear about this, that a Christian or a person, rather, they're not saved by their works, or a Christian isn't saved by their works, we're not saved by the deeds that we do, but rather, as a Christian, we will produce those good deeds. That's the natural outworking of who we are. And we see a very clear distinction, a good comparison between a true believer and someone who would not relinquish their worldly goods. A true believer who produces fruit and one who rejects Christ and chooses instead to adhere to this world. And so as we think about this, as we think about the comparison between the two, let's examine our lives and let's be sure that we are bearing fruit that's in line with godliness, becoming more like Christ, being sanctified more and more progressively in this life. And if we are, praise God, give Him the glory and we watch God work through that. But if we're not bearing fruit, let's look at ourselves and be, and be sure that we are truly saved like Zacchaeus was and share that message with others as well. You guys have a good day. Talk to you later on. See ya.